In the last two lectures, we have solved two conventional questions based on trigonometric Fourier series expansion and now we will focus on multiple choice questions. You can see one multiple choice question on your screen and this question is taken from ESE 2011 paper. We will first read the question and then we will move to the solution. The Fourier expansion ft equal to a0 plus summation a n cos n omega naught t plus b n sin n omega naught t of the periodic signal shown below will contain the following non-zero terms. So basically this question is talking about a naught, a n and b n. In the four options you can see different combinations with different possibilities and we are required to comment about a naught, a n and b n and the only information given is the waveform. So simply we will analyze the given waveform and we will try to collect the information about A0, AN and BN. So first we will check whether the given waveform is symmetrical about the time axis or not. If the waveform is symmetrical about the time axis, this implies A0 is equal to zero. Because when waveform is symmetrical about the time axis, then the area over one time period is going to be zero. And when area is equal to zero, when you calculate the average value, it is also equal to zero. And A0 is the average value of the given signal. So A0 is the average value of signal Ft. And as the signal is not symmetrical about the time axis, it is not equal to zero. And as in the question, it is asking about non-zero terms, the correct option must contain A0. And as you can see, all the four options are having A0. The calculation of A0 is not very useful in determining the correct option. Now we will focus on the type of signal, whether it is even signal or odd signal. You can see the given signal is even signal because when you perform the time reversal, you will have the same signal. So the condition for a signal to be even signal is satisfied here and therefore the given signal is even signal and whenever we have even signal whenever we have even signal the coefficient bn is equal to zero because there will be no signed terms and therefore bn is equal to zero and as you can see in option a there is bn and question is asking about non-zero terms but bn is equal to zero therefore option a is not the correct option and if you see option C, here also BN is there. So option C is also not the correct option. Now our answer depends on AN. If you see the two remaining options, option B and option D, you will find AN is present. So AN is not equal to zero. The only difference is that we have N equal to one, two, three and so on in option B and N equal to one, three, five and so on in option D. So in this case, in this case, both even and odd harmonics are present and in option D only odd harmonics are present. So the answer is now dependent on the harmonics and you cannot solve this question directly because I have not explained the important property. The property is known as hidden symmetry in case of Fourier series expansion, if there is any signal which can be derived from the half wave symmetric signal, then the harmonics present will only be odd. I will repeat this important point again. This question is mainly based on the knowledge of this property. The property is very easy to understand. We will discuss more about it in the coming lectures. But for now, I will repeat this statement. Whenever you have any signal which can be derived or obtained from half wave symmetric signals, after making some adjustments, we can say that the harmonics present will only be odd. The given signal Ft is derived from the half wave symmetric signal, which you can see on the top left corner of your screen. Therefore, we can say that only odd harmonics will be present. So option B is an incorrect option and option D is the correct option because here n equal to 1, 3, 5 and so on. This means only odd harmonics are present because when you put n equal to 1, 3, 5 here you will find we have cos omega naught t cos 
3 omega naught t cos 5 omega naught t which simply implies that we have odd harmonics. So this is all for this problem. The problem is very easy but you should understand how to analyze the given signal. Now we will move to the homework problem. I have taken the homework problem from gate 2002 electronics and communication paper. The question is asking which of the following cannot be the Fourier series expansion of a periodic signal. There are four options and once you have your answer post it in comment section and if possible also explain the reason behind your answer. So this is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.